all right welcome back this is my first update video week one is down we are already into week two and let's talk about it the first week it went well for the most part i'll run over some stats on what actually um, has gone down just to give a little recap i'm doing a 30-day challenge to really finally get through the aussie mail book before today or rather before beginning this journey i believe the furthest i had gotten was chapter 30 let's take, do a quick little what is this chapter 27 looks like actually the um the actual nope nope yeah 29 so 29 was the actual last chapter i had gotten to and almost uh ceremoniously 29 is where i'm at right now i finished 29 last night and since this is the 20 what day is this this is the 23rd i'm already into week number two so there's fireworks in the background I'm not sure you can hear that let's get right into what happened week one week one started on lesson nine and ended on lesson 28 as i said i'm on 29 right now but that counts as week two so we ended on lesson 28 that's 19 lessons in seven days or 2.7 lessons a day mm. i was really aiming for three i was really aiming for three a day i fell under that mark i started out so well so well but just like so often work got in the way i lost a full day i didn't even do any readings i want to say on day four i got home and i fell asleep around eight o'clock which i normally fall asleep around one or two so yeah that kind of that killed that day but you know I will say I am motivated. You know, one of the main things with this project was for me to learn about consistency, um, give myself a reason to stay consistent. And I will say from the pros of, first, of the first week, which I'll go through quickly, I definitely have motivation to keep this going. I have, 100% seeing progress already in week one. All right, there's three main pros I would like to highlight. One is spelling slash conjugation. Uh, number two is comprehension. And number three, discipline. All right, so for number one, spelling and conjugation. Simply put, I've kind of been focused on speaking on my during my last attempts, or rather my last goals with uh, within French. And because of that, my spelling has really kind of fallen off the edge. And because conjugation kind of goes hand in hand with spelling, I'm putting spelling and conjugation together. Um, you, you'll know that a lot of the conjugations in French really sound the same, but they are spelled different. Um, I don't know, like, uh, anything that has the I pronouns and the he, the she, and the on, so the on pronouns, they are spelled differently normally, but they all sound the same. Uh, whenever you're not saying the last syllable, it normally sounds the same. So, yeah. This has really got me back in the rhythm of conjugating and understanding conjugations as far as verb pronoun endings. Um, what else? Uh, so, number two, comprehension. 
this one I wasn't really expecting to be a thing, but I'm able to better comprehend a sentence, whether it's me reading it or me hearing it. The main thing was I wasn't expecting to get a a boost in my audio audible audible comprehension but there definitely is a hundred percent there is um i feel as though because i'm so much more aware of sense structure from a visual standpoint to when i encounter sentences that are new you know, whether it be just a new speaker, maybe I've heard since this a few times, but like the new speaker, I'm able to kind of ride the wave of the sentence better, which I 100% was not expecting to be a thing. Another thing with comprehension comes down to reading. I've noticed that a lot of times, I mean, even still within the first week, I'll read a sentence once. And it'll just be like, blah, blah, blah. then I'll read it again, and it'll go from look from literally zero to a hundred. I'll barely understand it. Then I'll read it again, and I'll totally understand it. It's just I, you know, get lost sometimes in that flow of, you know, from like the verb and the conjugation as far as uh, agreement between genders, and um. Yeah, a, something I wasn't really expecting. I'm not really, honestly, I'm not really sure what I was expecting, um, but I am have been happily surprised. Surprised. I've been happily surprised. Uh, so number three speaks to discipline. I've said it before. If you've had any goal at this channel, you've seen me start things and not finish things. Within everything I do, um, outside of languages. I'm pretty consistent. I actually am very consistent. And a lot of times that comes down to just a purpose. Um, you know, if I need to learn a new skill in Photoshop or if I need to pick up new equipment or general skills on set. Um, if you don't know, I'm a photographer. I've worked a lot in video as well. There's a reason. You know, I have motivation. There's a paycheck behind me learning these new things. And it's also, I don't know, not make this too long, that's also been the reason why I tend to stop my language goals. You know, once I left college, there was really nothing holding me to learning a language. I mean, I wasn't going to get me a job. <laughs> you know, so, you know, if they ain't got dollars, they don't make sense, as they say. I digress. So, yeah, um, I've really found my pondering the best times to approach these readings and because I'm also committed to doing my Anki study and finding time to get uh, additional audio input I'm forcing myself to really take a second look at my structure of the day um, become more disciplined on fitting particular tasks in. Uh, one example is just being very consistent with doing my Anki decks on the train. Because, I mean, waiting till I get home and wasting my 20, 30 minute train ride, it just doesn't make any sense. You know, that at home time, where maybe in the past I would have done an Anki deck or something is pretty strictly for Osimo because one I'm not carrying that book around and two I can't write I can't read on a train like that it's just I get motion sickness um yeah you know I mean this is only week one I'm very 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 excited to see what week two comes well rather week, what week two brings I'm very much behind as far as keeping up with the amount of lessons I do a quick little, yeah, to to make it to my goal of completing completing lesson one thirteen, I must do an average of four lessons a day now, 
up from the three previously. It's going to be difficult, but I am approaching this as if I have no choice because I do not want to let you all down. Uh, whether you who are following along presently or those who may come along later and view this series, I will get done. I will do them all within the month. Uh, the month meaning the second week of August, because when I started. And following this, I will have another month or two month challenge. Until next time, oh, quickly, actually, in the links below, description below rather, I will have links to Osimo courses that are connected to Amazon. If you are in the market for the books, use my link. Why not? Help me out here. <laughs> so, let's wrap it up here. Uh, we'll see you all next week. Probably next Saturday is when I'll be able to edit the video and have it up. Um, yeah, until, until then, like, subscribe, 100% leave a comment below. If you're doing this, if you have any questions, if you have any suggestions, any resources, I'm always looking for a new um, artist, French artist, French TV show recommendations. That's about it.